Finally, we will send a script render of our scene. So first we're going to edit the path of our render in the DL settings. Then you can choose its file destination over here. So if you hit browse, then um, the directory I'm going to put my renders in are going to be called renders. And so now what you can do is copy this path. And if I go back to this expression, then I can just paste this over here. And I'm going to rename this render. If I create a render node, so I'm going to hit tab and render. And then I'm going to place this underneath my render settings. Now if I hover over this and hit E and also V, then you can see the output for your file. What I'm going to do is right click and disk render. Now the monitor will go grey until the render is finished. Now this should only take a few minutes, but once it's complete, your render will appear in the monitor tab. And then you can find the path of that directory once you go into the file. So over here you'll be able to find our tutorial render primary EXR. On that note, you've completed the beginner series, so we should now have an understanding of how to navigate the UI and work within Katana. Please let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see more of. We'll be watching out for the comments.